Hey guys, welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create an awesome looking text animation. I got this idea from Envato Elements, and I thought I should share the technique with all of you. You can create unique text animation using this technique. So, without wasting any time, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Before we move forward to the video, it will be awesome if you hit the subscribe button. Also press the bell icon to get the all the latest update. Let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Give it a name you like. Now, take the type tool, and type a text. I am using Montserrat black font, but you can use any font you want. Make sure paragraph setting is centered, and align the text to the center. Now open the text layer, click on this animate button, and add position. Then click on this add button, and select tracking. And also select opacity. Now change the position something like this. Decrease the tracking amount to a negative value so that it squeezes like this. And also turn down the opacity to zero. Then open range selector one, and add a keyframe on start. Then go forward to one second, and change its value to 100. Select the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the graph something like this. Make sure you are in edit speed graph. Nice, this looks good to me. You have to add more text, so let's make some room for that. Now select the text layer, and press Ctrl plus D two times, to make two copies of this. You can add more text if you want. Place the text one after another properly and change the text according to your need. For the middle text, I just want a stroke. So turn of the fill. Now first place the top two texts like this. Then select both layers, and press P to open position property. On one second, add a keyframe on position. Then go forward to few frames, and change the text position something like this. Try to keep the text as close as possible. Now select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Go to Graph Editor, and change the graph something like this. By doing this it will look snappy. Don't change the position if you already applied keyframe on position. It will affect the animation. Let's add some speed lines to make it look good. Take the pen tool, and draw a straight line like this. Change the stroke color to white, and turn off the fill. Adjust the stroke width a little bit. Open the shape layer, click on this add button, and add trim paths. Go to the time where the position animation started. Now, turn down both value to zero, and add a keyframe on both. Then after few frames, change both value to 100. Now offset this first keyframe by few frames. Then you can see the animation.
select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open Graph Editor, and change the curves something like this. You can add some dashes and gaps, to make it a little bit different from the basic lines. Alright, let's make a duplicate of this layer, by pressing Ctrl plus D. And place it on the bottom. Now take the pen tool, and change its size according to the text. Perfect. Select all the layers, and pre-composed it. Now you can change the position and scale according to your need. Alright, select the text composition. And make it 3D layer. Click here if you can't find 3D option here. Or press F4 to toggle between tabs. Now press R to bring the rotation property. And add keyframes on X and Z rotation. Then go forward to few frames, and change x-axis value to minus 60 degree and z-axis value to minus 40 degree. Now place it properly. Also adjust the scale if you want. Then select the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Go to Graph Editor, and change the curves something like this. Perfect. You can always play with the rotation to get some different results. For adding some depth on this, Go to Effects and Presets, and search for Drop Shadow Effect. Apply it to the layer. Add a solid layer for background. Add Fill Effect on the background layer to change its color. Now we can adjust the shadow. Play with the values to get your desire effect. I think dark grey color looks much better with this type of designs. So this is all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next video. Till then stay safe, and have fun.